Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to tell you how to build a physics project. Now, the one thing about a project is it is not a simple experiment. So, although we need to decide what the topic is about, we mustn't be thinking of just one little experiment. This is a major thing. So, first of all, we've got to decide on the title, on the subject of our investigation. And the second thing is we must know about the theoretical background. So we don't want to go into doing an experiment without knowing what people know. Because we are looking to go a little bit further than that, maybe. Then, the third thing is look at the experiment, but look at all the alternative ways of doing things. With an experiment, you've got to make it as accurate as possible. So alternative approaches will improve the accuracy of your experiment. In other words, which equipment do you use? Do you use a ruler or do you use a micrometer to measure lengths and so forth? Only after you've done these things should you actually go into looking at any kind of experimentation. And the experimentation really should be not just one experiment but several experiments ensuring that each of them contributes and they're all similar so they give you results which can be compared so that you are sure that the results you're going to get are accurate and are correct and how accurate they are. Once you've done your experimentation for the first time, you'll do things which we call modifications. That is, you'll look at the experiment and you'll say, ah, this wasn't very good, I'd better do that instead, and then modify it repeat the experimentation and these in fact go round in a circle so that we continuous rotate between experimentation and modification and of course from the modification we always document what we do. It is important to say within your project what modifications you made and why you made them and why it is that you've included them in the documentation. It may be that you want to later on look at how the modifications affected your results. And only then, after you've finished all the documentation, can you do the conclusions. And the conclusions need to relate to the title. So the title and the conclusions are linked because if your aim was to find out a certain thing, then your conclusion should be that that's what you have found out. So, in brief, that is how you would build a physics project.